I want to start the show by saying that I'm a little depressed this morning. A little depressed. A little depressed because uh, I watched The Notebook last night. The Notebook. <laughs> now, I this sounds like a depressing movie, a movie I probably wouldn't watch. Uh, yeah, One yeah, of those yeah. movies I call the movies I will never see. When you see the trailer for me and go, you know something? I will never, ever see that. You know when we have this discussion every once in a while, like, what was the last chick flick you, you saw? Yeah. Man, for the longest time, my answer was The Bridges of Madison County. <sighs> but, but, you know, when you say The Bridges of Madison County, it's obvious that I haven't seen a chick flick in many, many years. Well, now i got to update right. my answer to The Notebook. Wow. Uh, instead of seeing the notebook, you should open one and write, I'm a fag, on the first page. <laughs> over and over again, like in The Shining. I'm a fag. I'm a fag, and I like chick flicks. I'm a fag, and I like chick flicks. <laughs> That'll be in a promo. Jesus. Opie, I'm a fag, and I like chick flicks. I get it. I get it, Steve. <laughs> I'm Jim Norton, and I write fag in a notebook. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're playing. Look, Steve's yeah. all happy. Ooh. Opie, I'm a fag and I like chick flicks. I'll give you a couple different reads. There you go. That'll be in the next fucking book. And then it'll be a joke about Eric's breath. We get it. Let's run that into the ground. Poor kid. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> at poor me. kid. Poor people around him. <laughs> that stupid notebook. You realize that that uh, your your young your young, uh, vile and happy relationship is getting vile, a, not vile. Um, <laughs> volatile, it could volatile, be vile. No, uh, uh, vibrant. Vibrant is a good word. <laughs> vile, Jesus, <laughs> holy crap! Maybe I need to go back. Uh, to the that. other V word that means good and energetic. Vivacious. 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 You just realize that your your young fun relationship is going to end in a nursing home somewhere with you with you drooling on yourself as as your loved one says goodbye. Oh, oh. Jesus. Tick tock. Tick tock. Absolutely. Really depressing. No one escapes that fucking time thing. No happy ending there. Oh, the happy ending is they get to die together. Oh. Uh that's not happy. That sucks. Wait a minute. Now, did you did you get sad? Uh, yeah, I actually did. Because I was a little worn out from... I was telling Lindsay, actually. I'm like, you know, maybe last night wasn't uh, a good night to watch one of these movies. Because you're kind of worn out from the weekend. And we went down to Philly to see Jim Norton play the Tower Theater. And Jim's show was un. I heard there was, like, no one there and you bombed. <laughs> yeah, right. It was awful. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. He goes, oh. <laughs> it was practically sold out, and it's a huge theater. It was huge. Colin Quinn killed. He's Rich great. Voss killed. Jim Norton killed. Colin have his zipper up this time. Old doddering <laughs> fool. <laughs> and uh, so you know you're tired from New Year's. You come back to New York. Not not many hours sleep there on uh, Saturday night, and ah, it's movie night. Yeah. So uh, you know she wanted to see that, so we saw that. It's fine. And I'm like, man, this was just the wrong choice. We should have seen a nice, happy comedy. Happy comedy, maybe that Jim Carrey movie. Yeah, because your body's a little too tired to take on such a heavy subject. Because the, the, the movie opens with this older lady. She's not even that old, but she's suffering from dementia. And James Gardner there is reading a, a love story to her, and you think it's a book. James Gardner? I think it was yeah. James. Yeah, James Gardner. No, I'm not sure. I, I don't even. I know nothing about the movie. Yeah, I'm just trying to get the picture here. So, old, old James Garner. Read he actually saw that and talked about the Notebook. Has said. Oh, read it. Yeah. Oh, really? It is brutal. And then, uh, you know, he's reading the the book to this old oldish lady that's suffering from dementia. Right. A, yeah. a really nice love story. And then they go back in time when they're young kids at the carnival and doing the first wheel and all that yeah. shit. And then, uh, then you realize like, oh no. This is, this is them, and they oh. don't know each other anymore. And he's so in love that he's he's just hoping that the old Allie comes back to say hi. Oh boy! And there's Allie going. What happens next in this uh in this book? Doesn't have a clue. What who happens? Is. This is they your... shared this entire life together. <laughs> Not a fucking. Oh, clue. that's wonderful. Why bother? Why? Why? Why bother going to the carnival when you're young? What They're happened? not going to remember in the end. What happens next? The older gentleman knocks the teeth out of the <laughs> pants-shitting burden. <laughs> he picks up a pillow and covers your face. Exactly, then throws a sink through the window and leaves. 
<laughs> movie about being young and being in love and virile. And virile. That was the word. <laughs> Somebody it was virile. It Thank you, uh, sir. That's Nick Warman. I knew I was close. I was well, just missing a, uh, an R. You said yeah. vile, and I said volatile, which was just as bad. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. missed an R and I. Whatever. I was close enough. Him, uh, he's uh, beating her, and you are blowing her up. <laughs> <laughs> According to the word, volatile. Yeah. You're, you've got to stick a dynamite under her pillow, and I'll be just punching her in the face. <laughs> so then, you know, it's about being young and being in love, and and I, you think this is just a friend of this lady at the nursing home, and yeah. she's all excited, like, well, I got to take a nap, but you tell me what happens next in that story. Yeah, I'll do that. And then you realize, like, 15 minutes in, you're like, oh no, that's Allie. She's now old. Uh, I can't take care of herself. Were they, uh, like, flashing back to them fucking in a car that went, Aooga! Pretty much. Aooga! <laughs> Pretty fucking much. <laughs> the good old days. Pretty much. Starting up the car. <laughs> <laughs> he and his friends beating a Negro for looking at her. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, halfway through the movie, like, they're out. Outside, and he's still reading about their life. Yeah. Because she kept a lot of notes. Of she, course. And uh, all of a sudden, like, uh, her family comes to visit, like her actual kids and grandkids. Yeah. And James Gardner's character introduces these people as his family. Uh-huh. Because she thinks this is just a nice guy. She doesn't realize that this is her old lover. Although, every once in a while, she gets a glimpse of her uh, Is of there a moments of little clarity? A little clarity. Oh, boy. And the doctor's like, that's impossible with dementia. All right, we get it. Oh, a happy part. But James Gardner goes, well, you know, uh, medicine could, could only go so far, and then God has to take over. Then yeah. God has to take over. And sure enough, at the end of the movie, she recognizes She did, right him, before she dropped dead. And they decide that they could possibly die together. Ah, Why? What was wrong with him? Uh, heart problems. She had another heart attack. And what did she have? Dementia. Dementia? That yeah. shit kills you? Or just kind of. I don't know. Maybe she died. Or maybe of, she had the big casino. Maybe she died of a broken heart. Ah, uh, that's maybe, how I want to think of maybe it. Maybe she also died of a weak heart. That's how I want to think of it. But now she's being introduced to these people that her are her kids and her grandkids. Yeah. And then like she goes up taking a nap, and they're all like, they're just brutal. Like, D Dad, she doesn't recognize us anymore. Why are you wasting your time? Of a sensible family. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, my place is here with your mother. My place is here with your mother. Had she finally recognized him, he pulled his cock out, and she recognized the hook oh. that goes to the left a little. She went, wait a minute. Know that? Say. You used to hit my G-spot when you said 23 skadoo. <laughs> she recognized him. So they, And oh, when she comes back, she goes, how much time do we have this time? And he's like, I don't know, maybe five or six minutes. And... So they start slow dancing to, I'll be seeing you. Oh, Christ oh. on a pony. <laughs> what are you doing sitting there? I was having teary eye check all night. Oh. You ever do teary eye check? It's the funniest fucking what, you thing. Look around? If you're ever in a situation where you're watching a movie with others that could get a little, a little, uh, a little emotional. A little emotional. You just quickly like turn to the other person and go, teary eye check. Oh, no. <laughs> Can't do that. If what if it's you? And then if you catch him crying, you just openly laugh at him. Oh, my God. That's <laughs> horrid. I t so all of a sudden they're dancing to, I'll be seeing you in all. And all of a sudden, like, she's she fades away again. And now she thinks this fucking strange man is, like, basically molesting her and starts <laughs> screaming for the nurses. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, now it gets funny. <laughs> it's like, goes from a special moment, the candles are lit, they had a nice little dinner together, and they're yeah. slow dancing, until all of a sudden she fades away, and like, what are you doing in my room? What are you doing? Let go of me. Start screaming. Oh, she loses it. Good. <laughs> I'm the laughing. funny part. We should actually get uh, some audio of the notebook so we can mock it. It's perfect for later. After he leaves, they all think she's just crazy. The orderly comes in and brutally rapes her. <laughs> like, ah, that's just her being nutty. She's going to forget it. He raped me, yeah. We sure, I know did. he did. Sure, again. Oh, this Here, poor guy. Here's Rich in Detroit. Rich. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey. Hey, Rich. Happy birthday, little Jimmy. Happy New Year. <laughs> My wife uh, and I went to see that at the theater when it was out. I had taken her thinking I was being a nice guy. Didn't realize what that thing was about. She read the book for that thing. I cannot believe people will read for entertainment purposes something as depressing as that. Oh, yeah. Oh, she read the book? 
Yes. It just, I, I can't imagine. It was awful, awful movie. Horribly depressing. No it, entertainment at all. It was, uh, it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was quite interesting. Depressing.